All right, this video is for our Soma cube. This is going to be for part three, um, T. So that part looks like this. So what we're going to be doing is drawing our first layer. And since this uh, shape only has one layer to it, as soon as we extrude, we'll be done with this part. OK. So if you haven't done so already, um, you're going to have to make sure you have a Part Studio that's um, brand new. If you don't have that, you're going to click on the plus sign in the bottom left hand corner and then go to Create Part Studio. All right, once you have a brand new Part Studio open, you're going to click on Sketch. Then you're going to click on the plane that you need. The plane that we're going to use for this one is going to be front, so it is this um, one right here. So click on front. You can see now that we have sketch one. So we can see exactly where our sketch is laid out. So in this program, it doesn't tilt it automatically. Um, I'm not quite sure why most of the other programs I use have done so. So instead, we're going to have to click on the front of our cube to kind of flatten it out so we have a get better idea of what we're looking at here. So <clears throat> if we look at our shape, we kind of have this T shape going on. So the first thing is we're going to draw it in. I'm going to use the line tool for this. And I'm going to start at my origin. All right, so right now I know the dimensions are not right. That's totally fine. Um, and as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it on your screen because it's kind of faint on mine. But I have yellow dotted lines that popped up. That's telling me that this is linked together. So I am going to link that together. And we can see that we still have those dotted lines. OK. I want to make sure those are lined up together. And there we go. So it kind of turned a little bit gray. So it lets me know that my shape is, well, a shape instead of a whole bunch of lines now. The reason why I wanted to connect it to the origin is when we add in our dimensions, what we're going to do next with uh, this tool right here. Uh, that lets me know if I have fully constrained the part or not. So I'm going to click on the dimension tool, and now I can add in my dimensions. So my dimension for here is 1. I'm going to open this back up. I'm going to stay here for a second or two if you want to pause it. But you're adding in your dimensions, OK? All right, so we have our next dimension would be three, and then one, one, another one. So you can see that right here, I don't have that one dimension that I have on uh, my paint drawing over here. The reason why I didn't need this last one, you may need it, by the way. Um, the reason why I didn't need this last one is because I made sure that this bottom edge was linked up with this one. If I, for some reason, didn't link them together, then I'd have to add this last dimension in. All right, now we can click on our corner. And the reason why I click on the corner is to kind of get a better view of what's going on here. And you can either click on the green check mark to say, yep, my sketch is good, or we could just go straight to extrude. And then it extruded. If it doesn't actually extrude, uh, all you have to do is click on the T shape, and then it will extrude for you. So if you have multiple sketches, it will not know what it's doing. So it'll be like, hey, human, you need to intervene here. Computer's confused. Uh, so make sure you have that. And then also make sure that your depth is set to one inch. So each individual cube for this project is one inch. So therefore, our depth will be one inch. Now we can click on the green check mark. And our part is done. So now we need to name it. So what you do is you go to Part Studio, right click, rename, and then we can rename this. So this is piece 3T. Okay, and then you just click away from it, and then our part is done. All right, so hopefully you were able to get that done. All right, so good luck on your next pieces.